crypto is red. We can all see that, you know, we can see that the global market cap for crypto is down to 825 billion, down 3.73% on the day. And if we look through the top 20 coins, you can see there's just a sea of red in this 24 hour here. So this all started a couple days ago. It, it was a little bit unexpected, but expected at the same time. And what I mean by that is we actually got a good CPI report. We actually had inflation come down to 7.1%, the lowest it's been in a little bit of time, the biggest drop that we've had since inflation levels got to the high levels that they are. Now, the following days, <clears throat> which were the FOMC meeting, we actually got good news out of there, 50 basis points. That's what was expected, okay? Now, the problem that we have is that it was the sentiment by Chairman Powell that sent the market red. He basically said that, yes, there's more interest rate hikes that are going to be coming in 2023, and we are not through this yet. Basically, they're going to try and rip off the mandate and really try to tackle inflation as fast as they can. Now, the market obviously didn't like this, and <clears throat> Cardano, which is what I want to mainly talk about in this video, unfortunately was not able to hold its support level that it had at 30 cents. Now, you see this big drop in the chart here. This happened across all of crypto. We look at, you know, we look at Bitcoin, we look at XRP, we look at Ethereum. All these big coins had this this steep drop, big big sell off, you know, at about 3 a.m. or so. So right now, <clears throat> there's just a lot of uneasiness in the market, a lot of uncertainty. And again, there's still so many macro factors that surround crypto. You know, inflation right now is still high. Interest rates just went higher and it sounds like are going higher still. FTX fallout still happening. You know, we probably should have had, you know, if if Chairman Powell didn't provide the negative sentiment that he did, we'd probably be green right now. We had a very good rally going on, you know, the CPI data that happened on the 13th. Okay. We were starting to rally, starting to get some green. And with the expected amount of, of basis point hike that we got, we should have been green. Okay, guys, that's we should have been green. So unfortunately, it's just the sentiment that sent us lower. And unfortunately, nobody should really have that much power to really send things lower. We know that, you know, times are are hard. We know that the economy is in a rough spot right now. But markets obviously are are really just oversold right now compared to where they should be. But, you know, the the big thing is, guys, you should be looking at fundamentals. Look at what is being done in this market cycle. That's what I look at. You know, I'm not a short-term trader. I'll do some here and there, but I'm mostly long-term in crypto. Okay. I pick projects that are sound, that have good development, that are growing in these times where the price is not, frankly. And those are the ones that I think are going to do well in the long run. Ones that have huge development going on. And Cardano, obviously I talk about a ton here on the channel, Cardano's got that tenfold. Okay, it's got huge development going on right now, and that's why I can talk about new stuff for Cardano every day, whether it be you know NFTs or Metaverse, like I talked about yesterday, or just the overall growth of you know on-chain metrics for Cardano itself, smart contracts, DApps, uh, user growth, all these sorts of things. Cardano is crushing it right now, even if the price doesn't indicate, you know, I get, it's funny, I'll get some smart comments on, uh, on my videos and say, oh yeah, Cardano is really growing, price just dropped, bro. Price isn't the only metric, guys, okay? It's the one that we look at the most because it's the one that hits home the closest, right? Especially if you're a holder. But if you're just looking at it short term, you're doing crypto wrong. And I feel bad for you, but <laughs> that's all I really got for you guys in this one. But obviously just, be prepared. There may be more red days to come. We don't know. We don't know what the end of the year is going to look like now. Um, kind of, again, a little bit of uncertain times, but just be prepared. Definitely do your research and pay attention to things going on in the crypto space. That's all I really got for you guys right now, but hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you haven't already, show your support, hit that subscribe button, and I really hope to see you in the next one. Take care, guys.